Hello everybody and welcome. Hope you're all well. Now we've started our journey, our journey with MQTT, message queuing telemetry transport. And the first session, what we did, we got our IDE, our Arduino IDE prepared with all the libraries that we require. The last session, we installed Node-RED. And now this session, we are going to install the Node-RED dashboard. The Node-RED dashboard. So let's just give you a, a quick introduction. I'm installed node red on my raspberry pi um, and we're going to be installing the dashboard in exactly the same place on the raspberry pi we'll cover how to install the dashboard and build a, a simple graphic user in interface just to show you it working right uh it's a module uh, that provides sets of nodes if we uh we look here we can see the nodes on the left hand side right these are the nodes we had a quick look in the the last sec uh, session and we're going to quickly create a, a live data dashboard uh, it provides nodes to quickly create a user interface with you can install uh, buttons sliders charts gauges all right now the way we uh we install the dashboard. It's quite simple. Uh, we come to Node Red. This is our menu button. If you see it up here on the right, let me just make sure I've got the right view. Yeah, we've got the right view. You can see up here on the right, this is our menu button. If we click that down on that, and we come to Manage Palettes, we come up with this. All right we come up with a user settings now we have to click on install right click on install and put node dash red dash dashboard okay and as you can see at the top palettes we've got node red dashboard now we can ins install all types of palettes. I'll show you what palettes are in a minute. Um, but for now, we're just going to install the Node Red dashboard. Click on install. I've already installed mine. Once you've installed it, um, what will appear? These are palettes. Right, these are the nodes, but uh, and they're grouped into what we call palettes. If I come down, once you've installed your palettes the dashboard palette will appear here right that's where your palettes are and this is where your nodes are right now to then access your dashboard i've already uh, opened it up i'm going to go to it and what you type in is your IP address, followed by colons 1880 forward slash UI forward slash. All right, forget this here. I'll take this out. Okay. And there you go. Your node red dashboard simple 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 okay let's come back to our node red and we're going to create a simple node red dashboard right now what you need to do over to the right hand side we've got dashboard open yeah and the way we uh get that is see this little arrow here if you click this down arrow we'll have all of uh, debug configuration nodes context data we'll be looking at it in, in later sessions just click on dashboard and it will come up 
all right okay so we've got that now what we need to do make sure we're on layout all right i'm on layout what i want to do is i want to create a new tab and you know when you go to a website and you've got all them uh they're called tabs at the top well that's what we're going to create we're going to create that tab so we click on it and it creates our first tab right and then what we want to do within our tabs so remember we've got a tab say you've got a file tab in a website inside it there's lots of different choices they're called groups so what we need to do here when you uh, put your mouse over it it comes up with a uh, group edit layout we want to click on group right so we've created our first tab and our first group now say we want to edit so we go to tab one click on edit and this uh, dashboard edit dashboard tab node comes up we're going to be using the defaults but you can name it whatever you want right you can name it whatever you want right then we've got icons right we're going to be using the dashboard if you read in uh, the icon field can either be a material design icon or a font awesome icon or a weather icon if you're doing a weather app All right but we'll be looking at that in um future future sessions okay so we make sure it's enabled at the bottom and one node uses this config once you've done that we would say we're using just the defaults click update and that will update now next we want to do the group so we can click edit on the group try that again make sure my button why is my uh ah there we go i didn't need it properly again we're going to use the def defaults group one tab one and display a group name radio display group name once you've checked that i say you can name it whatever you want you click update all right so you can edit the name now we need to uh, add something all right um an example we're going to add a switch so we bring the switch over and we um just click and drag it into the flows area now if you want to look at the properties of um a node you double click it all right and it automatically puts it into the group tab one and group one so it automatically does that all right so we just keep the uh, defaults done and then up here we have a deploy button successfully deployed successfully deployed then what we do we can then go to our dashboard and like magic our switch works all right we're not controlling anything with that switch yet but it does work right now just a quick go through we can change our theme here right i like the dark theme we can have light or custom you can create your own theme for the uh, for the dashboard all right so if i change it i'll change it to to light okay and let's well i thought that's how you did it 
maybe there's something I need to do. Theme. Color. Well, I'll keep it on dark anyway, but have a play with that and see how you can change uh, the style of your dashboard UI. You can change the colors, for example. Okay. All right. So that's how we install the node red dashboard as i say i'm not okay with it this is the first time of me using it the same as you but what we are going to do we are going to be using this a lot more and we are going to be using how to create the flows all right for, for our different iot projects all right well thanks for watching Thanks for watching. So we are learning together. We are learning together. Give us a thumbs up. Please subscribe. Take care. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye.